Ahoy matey! If you're a history buff who likes tall ships, yours has come in. Jake Peterson boards the Lynx Privateer, now docking around town. With the sails up, the Lynx Privateer looks pretty majestic. And when her cannons fire, fire! she looks pretty fierce. This representation of a ship from the War of 1812 glides across the country, offering day sails and dockside tours and sharing a little history. Forward, we have our main deck guns. Captain Bob Nelson tells us privateers were also called official pirates. They were hired to help disable British ships, which vastly outnumbered our own. A lot of times uh, the War of 1812 is uh, characterized as the Forgotten War, you know, and it was actually our second war of independence. Here's the specs list. The Lynx is 122 feet long. She weighs 94 tons with a beam of 23 feet and masts at 94 and 96 feet tall. And while there are a few modern conveniences the Coast Guard requires for safety, the Lynx stays pretty close to tradition. The crew must haul the sails up by hand and there's no autopilot. So this boat has to be hand steered 24 hours a day. The Lynx was put together beginning in 1997. Yes, that's wood you see, not fiberglass. Once we're below, we see the crew of eight sleeps a bit better than they did 200 years ago. That crew would have slept on a six foot by two foot rack. Not much comfort for this level of work. Now, if you need an idea for lunch, tomorrow is National Grilled Cheese Day. We hear Wright's Gourmet does grilled cheese right. So does the Independent and Seminole Heights. Dat's Deli is said to make a fine one with warm melted brie. Or chat about sports over your grilled cheese at the press box. Enjoy your lunch. For The List, I'm Jake Peterson.